boys and girls, Mrs. Pecora here. Today's fairy tale we are going to read is Sleeping Beauty. Now it's a little different than the Disney version, so let's read and see what happens. Sleeping Beauty, adapted by Amanda Askew, illustrated by Natalie Heinrichsen. Long ago, there lived a king and queen who had a beautiful baby girl. The king could not contain his joy. He held a great feast and invited friends, family, and the fairies. There were 13 fairies in the kingdom. All but the 13th fairy were invited because she was cruel and spiteful. After an amazing feast, feast I'm sorry, boys and girls, each of the fairies presented the child with a magical gift, including kindness and beauty. The princess had everything she could wish for. After the 11th fairy presented her gift, the 13th fairy suddenly appeared. Angrily, she called out, when she is 15 years old, the princess shall prick herself with the spindle and fall down dead. The queen fell to the floor sobbing. The 12th fairy, whose wish was still unspoken, quietly stepped forward. My magic cannot break the curse, she said, but your daughter shall not die. Instead, she will fall into a deep sleep lasting 100 years. Over the years, the fairy's promises came true one by one. The princess grew to be beautiful, kind, and wise. The king and queen ordered every spindle across the kingdom to be destroyed. The princess was never told of the curse. On the morning of her 15th birthday, the princess awoke early, excited. She wandered through the halls and gardens, waiting for the rest of the castle to awake. She came to an old tower that she had never seen before. The princess climbed the winding staircase and opened a little door. In the small room sat an old woman with a spindle busily spinning. What are you doing? asked the princess. I'm spinning, said the old woman. Would you like to try? The princess had hardly begun when she pricked her finger. At that moment, she fell into a deep sleep. The king, the queen, and servants had all started their morning routines when they suddenly fell asleep too. The horses fell asleep in the stable. The birds fell asleep on the roof. And the dog snored in the yard. Around the castle, a thick hedge of roses grew until nothing could be seen of the castle. The legend of Sleeping Beauty, as the king's daughter was called, spread across the land. Princes tried to reach the castle, but the thorns would not let them through. One hundred years passed, and a handsome young prince heard the tale of Sleeping Beauty. He traveled to the castle and walked through the hedge unharmed. When he went into the castle, the flies were asleep on the walls, and the servants were asleep in the halls. Near the throne lay the king and queen, sleeping peacefully beside each other. At last, the prince reached the tower where the princess slept. As soon as he saw her, the prince fell in love. He bent down to kiss her and Sleeping Beauty awoke. The sleeping curse was lifted and the castle slowly came to life. Later that year, the prince and Sleeping Beauty were married and lived happily for the rest of their lives. The end. Boys and girls, I hope you like that version of Sleeping Beauty. Stay tuned to see what we're going to read in library next. Bye-bye.